Um, let's do one of these determining a reactant concentration at a given time reaction. So it says um, at 1,000 degrees Celsius, cyclobutane, which is C4H8, decomposes in a first order reaction, which we should have already known by looking at the um, uh, units of K here. Okay? So that, since it's uh, seconds uh, to the negative one, we should realize that it's a first order reaction already. Um, with a very high rate constant of 87 per second um, to two molecules of L. If the initial uh, cyclobutane concentration is two molar, what is the concentration after 10 seconds? So if you remember the rate law equations that we just went over, okay, if you don't, um, just look back in your notes, okay? Um, the first order uh, rate um, law was uh, ln of A, or in this case C4 H8, um, at the original time divided by cyclobutane or the concentration of C4H8 at time t. That equals kt, like that. So we have concentration original, we have k, we have t. So we're trying to find what is this concentration at that time. Does everybody understand what we're looking for? Okay. So how do we get rid of ln? You guys remember? Yeah, E to the LN, right? So what we do to one side, we got to do to the other side. So this is going to be E to the KT. Is everybody okay with me just erasing? Okay. So that cancels with that, like that, and all of this comes down here, right? So what are we going to get? We're going to get. C4H8, um, O, divided by C4H8, T, equals E, K, T, like that. And what are we looking for? C4H8, T, right? So let's rearrange this equation to get that. So we get C4, H A T equals well C four H eight O divided by E K T like that. Everybody okay with doing that? Wonderful. So let's go over here with it. Okay, and just plug and chug now. So, so 2.00 um, molar divided by E. So the K is 87 per second times 0. 0, 1, 0 seconds, like that, okay. cancel, cancel there, what should our unit, what would you think our units would be for the concentration at time t? Molar, or moles per liter, right, are they going to be? Yes, okay, so if you're not getting good concentration units, then you've probably done something incorrectly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So 
there's, it says, what fraction has decomposed in this time? Should we do that part too while we're doing this video? I'll let you guys um, write down what we have here. Can I erase at least this part up here? So, we don't need that, we don't need that, we do need that, and we know also C4H8 at time t is, what did we say? C4H8. Okay, go so like that. So, fraction decomposed, that's going to be what you um, have over what was, okay, what was the total, okay? So you had this to begin with, and this is what you have left, okay? So let's say, is going to be C4H8O minus C4H8T, divided by C4 H8 O. Does that make sense? If it doesn't make sense, maybe it'll make sense when we plug the numbers in, okay? So, what do we got first? 2.00 molar minus 0 0.84 molar divided by 2.00 molar. What are my units? Try again. No units. Because it's a fraction. Fractions don't have units usually. That's the fraction decomposed. What if it asked me what percentage had decomposed? What do I do then? Multiply by 100%. So let's say the percent decomp. Do I need to show that now? Okay. So the percentage that we have left would be 100 minus that. The fraction that we have left would be 1 minus that. Okay? Everybody okay with doing something like that? So again, in order to do these, you're going to have to memorize those rate laws, okay? Any questions on something like this? If you memorize the rate laws, you should be fine.